Hey, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so it's day two of the spring clean cleanse. Do, 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 do. Having a great time um, with the spring clean cleanse. And so I just wanted to um, give you a few updates of some things that have been going on with me. So it is a cleanse and I'm going to be going deeper and deeper and deeper. So today I posted about a blended grapefruit, um, taking it down to the pith, just taking the skin off, leaving the white fuzzy stuff, and just blending that up. And um, you can add water if you want, but you do not want to combine that with food. You know, uh, grapefruit neutralizes anything and neutralizes herbs and neutralizes medicine, and it neutralizes um, the nutrition potential of your food. So you always want to do your grapefruit separately. And I'm not really a big juicer. And so it's more of a blend. So, you know, some people have the idea of like straining the pulp and the seeds and the membrane out of the grapefruit just to have juice. And I say, absolutely not. The seeds, the membrane, the pith, that is the medicine. And so uh, the fruit helps the medicine go down just a little bit better. Um, but that's one of the things. And I started a couple soup bases. So that's a be on my days that I want to do 80% where it's cold. I want a soup. And so I have a vegetable broth soup cooking and an onion uh, based soup cooking. But I'm still going to have my raw food. So I'm still going to be 80%. Just have a bowl of hot, um, clear brothy soup and um, and have it with my raw food and keep it moving. It's still vegan, but I have to say, especially this time of year, I am not trying to go 100% raw all the time um, because I get cold. So I like having teas and soups and using cayenne and different things to um, get my body warm. Uh, so those were my posts. Some of the things I didn't post is that I got a little tummy gate and that happens when, um, you're doing hundred percent raw. Sometimes your, your enzymes are getting adjusted. So first of all, 40 to 50 chews per bite to activate the enzymes in your mouth and in your digestive system. So what I did to alleviate some of the tummy uh, discomfort, which was mostly gas, um, was peppermint. So with doTERRA oils, they're organic. You can drink most of them if, if it's, um, if, cause it is food grade. There's a couple, uh, that you wouldn't want to eat because they're just not a food, but, um, peppermint, you could swallow. I also put it on my tummy five minutes. I promise you. And also I have this, uh, digest Zen. Now I hadn't had to use that yet, but I had that just in case back up. Um, another thing that I use is good belly. So, um, Good Belly uh, is a probiotic shot, and I use the one that has no added sugar, so it's a fermented oatmeal drink. But people always say, where do you get your, your probiotics? And so I am just not a big capsule person. So I like to supplement through the oils, um, through the skin or underneath the tongue, or drinking something like this, a shot. Uh, you know, if I take something like moringa, which I love, I'm going to mix it in something or put it in my mouth or something like that. I, I'm not really a big capsule person. So um, those are some of the things that I've been doing in my spring clean cleanse to uh, get my digestive system going with the probiotics, the good belly, and um, the peppermint. And the reason why I do this, pep this good belly is especially if you're doing a cleanse, you don't want to do anything juice-based. You don't want to do anything uh, sweet. Uh, you, because you're detoxing. So we're already trying to get rid of these parasites and fungus and candida. You don't want to feed them with juice. That's why I don't really like fruit juice. I do make the exception with certain citrus, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. Um, and yesterday I had an orange too, but we don't want to overdo it with fruit because those things, they like fruit and they're nocturnal. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Tyrone. And stronger than ever. I'm not sure who you are. I think you were one of my new Facebook friends. And hey, Deneen, thanks for coming on. And Hansy, oh, one of my old students from back in the day. <laughs> hey, Hansy, down in Florida. All right. So uh, also talked about dig digestion. Okay. And I never get a headache. 
I never get a headache. But yesterday I had a little detox headache and detox headache is okay. So like we have this blood brain barrier and um, it is, has water and it keeps uh, our brain from bouncing around on our skull. Um, hey, Zakia. Uh, and when we're detoxing, we're releasing toxins into our bloodstream, okay? So like we're releasing water, we're releasing uh, all these toxins and kind of like alcohol, when you drink too much, it uh, sucks up your blood brain barrier and causes dehydration. And that's where your headache comes from with your, um, your hangovers. It's, it's something similar. So some people you can feel a little loopy, you can feel like you got a little headache, but it's okay. It's fine. It only lasts for a day or two. Keep drinking your water. I try to drink at least two quarts. Really, I think on my weight, I'm supposed to have um, uh, half my weight in ounces would be like 180, would be like 85 ounces um, or something like that. So I do the two quarts, which brings me like to 64. And then I do the rest in uh, teas because I definitely like uh, my teas. And so that's how I get um, my 80 something ounces. And um, so I just wanted to kind of update you. I, on the same feed, I'm gonna show you what I made. I did my trays. So like, you gotta do your veggie trays. Like if you're not preparing your veggie trays where your vegetables are laid out, just cut and ready for you, then it's really no use because you know you're gonna get hungry. What you gonna snack on? You're gonna you're gonna reach for something in the pantry that is not gonna be supportive, especially when you're trying to do raw. So you gotta cut up your veggie trays, have them there, have them prepared. I love it because it's the same uh, pile of food that I cook from cook from for my family. So just like um, I have the veggie trays and I'll cook something. I Today I put a lot of cucumbers on my veggie tray and carrots. The kids love it. So they were putting it on their plate for, um, for their dinner. So that's one way too we can integrate because I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, I can't go raw because no one is in my house is raw or people in my house eat meat. That's fine because you can find a way to integrate it. Um, if you make it where you have to make 10 different meals, you're not going to do all that. So integrate it. If they're having steamed broccoli, you have raw broccoli. If they're having uh, cabbage, you know, curry cabbage, you make your own raw curry cabbage, um, especially with the soups. You know, whatever veggies that they're having, cut it up, throw it in your soup. And so um, I'm so excited. I'm feeling so good. Uh, we're going to be doing some colon cleanses. Um, we're going to be drinking some charcoal. We're going to cleanse every organ center. So this is just day two. And um, when I finish, I'm going to post uh, the link back in the information center. If you want to join, join. If you want to be in the raw food cleanse for five days, for one day, I don't care. Just join. Uh, I definitely would say let's have some goals, you know, try to figure out what you're building toward. You may just want to experiment to see if you can eat raw for five days. That might be your goal, but state a goal. Um, watch the post every day. Uh, come to the link if you need to. If you don't have one around here, you can get my book. I have lots of recipes for um, uh, raw things. So these are my 21 basic raw recipes. So for dressings, there's one for soup. There's some for the Rockstar Greens. I have a couple of fermentations in there. So a couple of desserts in there as well. Some fun food like uh, this neat guacamole recipe. So, you know, um, I'm here to support you. I have your instructions waiting for you if you want to jump in. For the folks who've been rolling with me, my diehards, my ride or die, Joanne, thank you. We're going to rock it out by the end of these 21 days. <laughs> we're going to be unrecognizable because really soft cells, they rejuvenate in 35 days. So literally we're transforming to be a whole new being, whole new thinking, clearing out our organs, and we're going to be ready. We're going to be energized. We're going to be feeling good for the summer. I'm getting some of this, uh, you know, insulation off my waist. That's one of my goals is to lose three inches off my waist. And um, so uh, 
your waist, especially in the back where your kidneys are. So in Qigong and in uh, Kemetic Yoga, you know, you tap those to release fear. So when you start getting those love handles in the back, you know what that is? That's complacency. That's complacency because you're afraid to move forward. So you just start uh, insulating your kidneys. And so when you start doing that, when I noticed my waist was spreading, it's like, okay, I got to release. And believe you me, ever since I thought about that, every fearful thing that I've been dealing with has come up. So it's not just about the food. It's also about your tra personal transformation. And I have an amazing life coach. So inbox me if you want to find out who is coaching me right now, because she is taking me to the next level. I want to tell you, she is awesome. <laughs> Oh, so thank you very much. I'm going to end this Facebook Live. It's 10 minutes. That's as long as I like to go. But I have to say, I love you and I appreciate you. Rock it out, rock stars. And I'll see you tomorrow. Awesome.